Welcome back to Just Jacobs. Today I've got seven exercises that are gonna help strengthen our legs, make them more robust and durable, so that when we get back on court, we're less likely, less prone to get injured, and hopefully we're gonna be moving, jumping, flying around a little bit quicker. So let's take a look. We're gonna start with the squats. This is a great body weight exercise that's gonna engage the core and work all the muscles in our legs. To do these, I'm gonna start with the feet slightly wider than the shoulder width. We're gonna have the weight on the heels, push the hips back and maintain good posture throughout the whole exercise. Like our squats, all the other exercises today are gonna to need minimal or no equipment. The good thing about this is they can be done anywhere. If you wanna progress your squats a little bit further, then you can add in a jump. This will increase your explosive power and further improve your leg strength. Next is the lunge, another great exercise to strengthen the legs. It again, will help the core and will also help with your balance as you have to stabilize your muscles and your body in that lunge phase. When doing the lunge, you wanna make sure that you're lunging straight, not on a tightrope and the legs as a guide, should be at a right angle position, making sure, again, good posture, and that front knee is not coming over the toe. As a progression, we can add in the jump, switching the legs in the air, bending the knees as we land, and exploding back up to start again. The lunge is an essential movement for badminton, and it's important to be able to get down low with good reach and recover quickly, ready for the next shot. Next, we're gonna be balancing on one leg. We're gonna have the other leg raised with the knee in line with the hip and the toe pointing upwards. This is gonna help our balance and you'll feel this probably in the hips, but also in the ankles as well. This is gonna help strengthen all the little muscles in your ankles and hopefully as a result, make us less susceptible to rolling our ankle and ensuring that that knee doesn't move side to side more than it should be. When playing, we move in all different directions. So it's important that our body can cope with moving not just forwards, but sideways as well. And this exercise will make sure we're nice and resilient and built ready to do that. As a progression, we're gonna do it with the eyes closed as well. For the Bulgarian squat, we're gonna place one leg behind you on an elevated surface and the other leg out in front. We're then gonna bend the front knee, sinking down into the squat. It's gonna build up our leg strength, predominantly the quads area, allowing you to be nice and strong in your games when you push back from that lunge position in the forecourt. As a progression, we're gonna add an explosive element and adding a jump off that front leg. With a lot of the exercises today, we're adding in jumps to get you used to that constant pounding on the ground when you're jumping and landing in our matches. Next up is gonna be calf raises. Simple exercise, but an important one to include because by strengthening our calves and doing these calf raises, it's also gonna help build up strength in our tendons and make those more resilient calf and tendon issues tend to be a very common injury area for badminton players and it's good to make sure this area is nice and robust and ready for the high impacts of the game. Next up is the line side leg raise. This one is great to improve our abductor strength and as a result will strengthen all those muscles around the hips and therefore taking a lot of the load off the knees. So simple but very effective exercises. And again, because we move sideways when we play badminton, it's an important one not to miss. So next up is the glute bridge. For this one, we're gonna lay on our back and have our feet a little bit closer to you with the feet flat on the ground. And from here, we're gonna be driving the hips up, squeezing the glutes, and you'll probably feel it a little bit on the hamstrings as well. This will help activate the glutes as a lot of people find that 
They're moving, lunging, and not really using the glutes as effectively as they could be. So this is a great exercise for that. As progression, you can do it on one leg. So having the other leg or foot in the air, straight out in front of you, parallel to the other knee, and driving up from there. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.